Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Now some of you who follow my channel may have seen me unbox this vintage but unused Hoover Junior on my channel and I've had it for weeks and weeks it's just been stood in my house just doing nothing I haven't had the courage to actually put a plug on it anyway I was going to buy a plug and I found out that it seems that all the plugs you can buy nowadays are made in China and I thought I can't possibly put a Chinese made plug on this vintage British made vacuum cleaner so I went on eBay and looked for some plugs and there was a, a few old brands that I remember of course MK, Ashley, uh, Volex Ashley was always preceded by Ashley Fused I always remember that from my childhood anyway they all looked a bit tatty so I found a Volex plug which were a good make I thought MK are the best really they were the best for plugs but Volex were also a decent brand so I had a Volex plug on an old Hoover dust set so I'm not too precious about whatever plug goes on that so here it is a Volex plug obviously it's not brand new but I did get a bit of metal polish on those pins and it's in pretty good condition so I've wired up this Hoover Junior I've put the plug on now this is going to be the first time this vacuum cleaner has been switched on I assume the seller said it was unused it did show a few bits of dust but it could have been from the storage I don't think it had been used but anyway we will see whether this cleaner has suffered in all the years it's been stored I don't know where it's been stored it could have been in poor conditions it could have been in damp conditions I'm not sure but it looks okay I, I took the cover off looked at the motor as, as much as I could look at the motor and it seemed fine oh, that's coming off a bit that Uber Roundel so anyway I thought I'd just do a quick video before I do a main demo I will be demonstrating this with dirt I'll be demonstrating the cleaning tools everything because to me it, it would make no sense to keep it completely unused I need to see if it works for one thing so I am now going to with much trepidation plug this vacuum cleaner in I'm going to plug it in I don't know if it's in the on position the little on off switch that someone pointed out to me on my Facebook page and it's something I've actually thought about this is the foot operated on off switch and uh, one of my Facebook likers pointed out that he always thought that looked like a red Rolo suite and yes indeed it does that is a classic Hoover switch so I don't know whether this Hoover switch is in the on or the off position so it could spring into life as soon as I plug the machine in I'm hoping it doesn't and I will put it at a distance I've got a socket nearby um, so if you excuse, excuse me I'm just going to reach out for the socket okay here goes let's see if this is going to turn on I hope it doesn't but we can but hope that it doesn't but anyway let's get on with it right now that could be a good sign or a bad sign it's not turned on I know the fuse is okay obviously it's in the off position so I do think oh dear I've had some experience again regular viewers will know I've had a couple of vacuum cleaners do the old uh, blowing up the suppressor blew up in two Electrolux cleaners this has got a suppressor inside a much bigger suppressor than blue on the Electroluxes so in theory it could make a bigger explosion <laughs> I just don't want to do it I, ha I know I have to do it it's the initial switching on okay look now I do have circuit breakers in my home in fact what I'll do first actually I'll just raise the brush to the highest position now did I put, actually I'm not sure if there's a new belt in here ah there's no belt whatsoever so it's going to sound a bit different I do have an, another belt upstairs so I will put that belt on but just for the initial test of the motor I'll try and get as far away as I can as, as possible 
Oh, I don't know. I can't do it. I'm going to do it. Right, please, please, dear Lord, let this Hoover Junior. I don't know what a brand new Hoover Junior of this vintage, this era, would have sounded like. I'm hoping it sounds sweet. Come on. <laughs> oh, just do it. Well, at least it hasn't blown up. It's obviously going to sound a bit different because it smells a little bit musty. It's going to sound different because there's no belt. The agitator isn't rotating. That's obviously going to change the sound level. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on the fan and we'll see that rotating. And then I'm going to pop a belt on and we'll give it its first ever go. Whew, well, so far so good. Okay, so here's a shot of the belt pulley and the suction fan. So, of course, this is a classic Hoover Upright, a dirty fan cleaner. By dirty fan, we mean that all the dirt sucked up from the carpet and through the hose, if you've attached the hose, passes through this metal fan, through some ducting inside and then up into the bag. So it, it has a classic noise if you've used to this sort of vacuum cleaner. You can hear sort of bits pinging against the fan. And it's also important, very important on this type of vacuum, not to suck up any hard or sharp objects that could damage the fan. Okay, the sun's gone in. Hopefully you can just about still see the fan. That's maybe a bit better that way. Okay, let's switch it on again. Well, that sounds fine. I'm a little less worried. So now I'm just going to pop a belt on and then we'll see how it sounds when I'm actually using it on a carpet. Well, I might as well show you changing the belt. I've unplugged it for safety's sake. And I have a belt, looks uh, very, very small. It's not, unfortunately, a genuine belt. It's one I found, it's, I think it's a Welco brand. I think I'll be able to get some genuine belts for this. It looks, as I say, it looks tiny, but it is a genuine Hoover Junior round belt. Sorry, not a genuine one, but it fits the Hoover Junior. So, to change a belt on a classic Hoover Junior, we need to remove that belt guard. And we need to pull out the agitator. With the famous Hoover beats as it sweeps. Oh, it pulls out that side first. And then onto the agitator, we need to pop the belt through the middle, like that. Now there's two ways, well actually you can't with this one, but with some of the juniors I seem to remember you could put the agitator in the wrong way by mistake, but you'd soon find out because it wouldn't line up with the pulley on the fan. But with this one, we've got a little oblong piece there and it's flat on that side and there's a little groove here so we know which way it goes on this particular junior and it just pushes in so that's what I'll do let's locate it make sure the belt goes through there first and locate that in and push it down there we go there and then we'll pull the belt through the hole so there we see the belt, now we'll just close the belt guard and then I'll turn the machine round and hook the belt on the pulley. Now it's hard to see but there is a little diagram actually printed on the metal part of the cleaner and it shows you the correct way to loop the belt around the pulley. If you put it around the wrong way the belt will just come off as soon as you switch the machine on. So looking at it I can see but the long, that's, uh, that's the way, is it? That way, I think that's the way. Now it's a, it's a very stiff pull, there we go. Let me just double check. Yes, that's the correct way. So there we go, there is the belt on the pulley. So I will initially switch it on and we'll see the belt going around, hopefully. Plug it in again. 
and hopefully the belt will be fine. The belt is quite old. So there you see, that's that. Now we can put the cover back. And I'll just give you a quick shot of the agitator rotating before we have a go on the carpet. Where's this? Where this is? There we go. Oh, I don't think there's much wrong with that. And I've got the familiar noise, the familiar sound of the, the dust bag inflating. Okay, now this very short pile carpet. I think we'll try it actually. We won't go quite low, we'll go to the one just, we'll go to this setting here. Okay, everything's fine so far. Let's do some cleaning. So folks, um, this is not, as I say, going to be a full demo with any dirt. I'm just going to pass this junior over this area of carpet, just give it a, a, a go. But I will be doing a full test. I will be doing what I do with my modern vacuum cleaners. I'll be putting down some of my filth from the bag of filth and I'll be passing the machine through it. And we'll see how this vintage girl performs on a load of dirt. I'll be testing it with the cleaning tools, everything. Everything that you'd expect me to test with a modern vacuum cleaner, I'm going to put this through with Junior through the same sort of test. I know it's hardly fair, but I think she'll cope very, very well. Okay, let's see how she sounds with the brushes and beta bar rotating. Oh dear! What has happened there? Something was struggling. I hope it's not the motor. Let me just put the... I mean, it shouldn't matter that it's on that high setting. Oops, that's wrong, there we go. Could be the belt, I don't know. Hmm, I don't think the motor's at fault, I just think it was sort of struggling a bit. But on the highest setting, well, on setting three there, it was a bit too high. But I could actually see it doing what the old-fashioned hoovers did. It was actually lifting, I could see it lifting the carpet, on it, which it does, on a cushion of air. That's how it works. It lifts the carpet on a cushion of air. The beta bars then tap, tap, tap at the carpet to release the embedded grit. And of course the brushes will sweep the surface litter, pet hairs and all sorts from the carpet. I'll give it another quick go, but I think it will probably benefit. I might lubricate it a bit and it will probably benefit for some, from some genuine belts. But um, I don't know, it's, it is struggling a little bit, but I don't think the fault lies with the motor. <laughs> with this Hoover Junior. It's got a lovely vintage sound, it smells vintage, it doesn't smell musty, it just smells, I don't know, it doesn't smell like anything I've used in the recent past, it doesn't sound or smell anything like a Chinese made vacuum cleaner but of course this was made when Britain was great 
when the Hoover Company was great. In my opinion, the Hoover Company was still great well into the 90s. But then, with a free flights promotion, things started to go downhill and have continued on that trend. Let's have a look at the bag. I was going to put in a more recent dust bag, but I thought, oh, I'll just leave the, the original. It did come with a spare. It's bottom fill. I've only cleaned a small area of this bedroom. The carpet hasn't been vacuumed for about a week, but nobody's been in it. I have had quite a lot of vacuum cleaners stood in here though. So I'm not expecting there to be a huge amount of dirt, if any. Well, there will be some. If I can get this, <laughs> always awkward these, especially the bottom fill bags. It's still cleaner than bagless. Now, let me just put that on very well. <laughs> See, I don't want to rip the bag. Come on. Oh, dearie me. I really put that on well. Is it going to, something's hold, there we are. <gasps> well, there's a bit of muck left on the, the fill tube. Oof. Well, put my hand in. Well, considering this carpet wasn't really dirty and there's a lot of fine dust on the inside of that bag as well as the fibrous material you can see dog hairs This is a brand new bag Well, it's br say brand new, look at, the, look at the age of it Look at that, dispose all bag for upright cleaners I don't know if I can tip anything out. There we go. What I'll do for the final shot, we'll just pick, pick up what I've just put back on the carpet and then I'll say goodbye. Please subscribe because you'll be updated when I upload a new video which will include the full demo of this vintage Hoover Junior. So the last shot will be of this Hoover Junior picking up what I've just emptied onto the carpet. So I'll say goodbye and I'll see you very, very soon. Yeah.